welcome back to my youtube channel i am so excited for today's video we're going to be testing some more tiktok life hacks now during this video my hair may change my makeup may change my clothes may change the lighting may change because i'm gonna have to film this across a couple of days in order to do this video i have a list of hacks and we're just gonna make our way through so without further ado let's test some life hacks this hack slash recipe I'm very excited about because I'm starving. So this one is basically making a tortilla, but shoving everything in before you cook it so it all gets cooked together and you fold it in quarters and that's the bit that's kind of the hack. And I'm very, very excited about this. So this is what's going in my four quadrants. I have avocado, blooming, love a little bit of avocado. We have some cheese. I have some salady bits. Not too sure how that's gonna go with the cooking side of it, but whenever I have a tortilla, I like to have salad in it. And then I have in the oven a little mushroom burger, which I'm gonna kind of mash up to make it into a sort of mince type thing. So that's the plan. So we have our tortilla. First thing is to slice it like this down the middle. And then what we're going to do is fill the four quadrants and then fold it back on itself, kind of. I don't know how well this is gonna go. I'm gonna have a ton of cheese on this one. Cheese quadrant, done. Now, for the possibly tricky bit, I now fold, 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 and put it in a pan to cook. So I'm just gonna grab this, fold. That went really well. I am impressed with myself. And then fold. This is genius. And then final fold, boom. That's pretty good. Final thing to do is to cook it. Now, I really wish I'd really thought about the order this was gonna get folded because ideally I'd want the avocado and salad in the middle so it gets least cooked and then the cheese and the burger on the outside so they get most cooked. I really should have thought this through. However, we're gonna cook this. Let's get the pan totally hot. I've never fried a tortilla before, so this is gonna be a first for me, and I really wish my salad wasn't on the outside. We're gonna, we're gonna flip. <gasps> Ooh, look at that color. Oh boy. Boom, TikTok hack tortilla, cooked. Very interested in tasting this, very interested. Mm. Oh wow, mmm, I'm sold. This is delicious. It's not falling apart, and with every bite, you get a little piece of every layer. It's genius, I'm very happy with this. I made a cake for the next hack, and I have something a little embarrassing to tell you about it. I made it a week ago. I don't think this is still okay to eat, but I still want to film this hack, so we're gonna go ahead. So, this hack involves a cake and a wine glass. I did want glass ones. Apparently I ordered opaque ones. I didn't mean to. This was very much a situation of not reading the description on Amazon properly. But a TikTok went viral quite a while ago where a party of people used their wine glasses to take chunks out of a cake. And you didn't need to slice the cake or choose how big of a slice people got. They could take their own chunk using their wine glass. But I wanted to see one, if it's actually that easy to scoop and pick up the cake. But number two, it is actually easy to eat it out of the wine glass. The only thing is, as I said, this cake, a little bit old, so a little bit nervous. Assuming I've gone to someone's birthday and they say, oh, help yourself to cake with your cup. Sure, will do. So I'm gonna take this slice here. Okay, we have sliced nicely. It picked up pretty well. I half expected it to just fall out, but it didn't. We're gonna try eating this. And we're just gonna pray that I don't get food poisoning from this cake that has been in our fridge for well over a week. Oh boy, it's delicious. Mm. The side of my cup is very messy though. I have no problems with this. This cake is also delicious and I pat myself on the back for it. Mm. And did you see my icing on the top? That's not bad for me, I did a little Actually, one second. Now if I've drunk out of this, or if I've licked the side of it, then I've dunked it through the cake, then my saliva is all on that rim right now. That's the only downside. Other than that, this is genius. 
you are really missing out on this cake. The next hack involves balloons and I'm sure a lot of you know by now, I do not get along with balloons. The thought of them popping just scares me, I just don't like them. But I always want to try out the things that involve balloons anyway, but they do scare me. So, this hack requires a balloon and a carrier bag. Basically, you blow up the balloon, you cut a slice of carrier bag. I don't know when I've ever in my life cut a slice of carrier bag, but we're going to cut a slice of carrier bag and it's going to float atop the balloon using static from my hair. So, going to blow up the balloon. <sighs> it's always that first bit that's the hardest. How big do I need to go? I hate balloons so much. I genuinely wonder if I had a horrifying incident as a child with a balloon because I don't know what's made me so scared of them. Please tell me I'm not the only one. And this bit is horrifying because I can just see my nails popping this thing. Oh goodness, I hate this. We have our balloon. I'm going to rest that there. So with the carrier bag, apparently you slice like a one inch strip this way. Got some trusty scissors. We can only hope that I open this and it's one lovely strip. Oh no! What the heck is that? Bit of a travesty. Okay, should open this. Ta-da! Okay, so we have our little strip of carrier bag. Now we have to electrostatically charge both items. I don't really want to rub balloon in my hair but we're going to do it for the sake of this video. <gasps> and we're gonna charge this and my hair, which is just great. I love being statically charged. It just calls for electric shocks, doesn't it? And we're gonna rub this around in my hair too. I don't like this one little bit. <gasps> we apparently throw this and catch it with the balloon. Or not. Let's try again, shall we? Charging, charging. Okay, catch. I'm not enjoying this. Okay, if that's not done, I don't know what is. Ready, and go. Why are you not repelling each other? Why doesn't this work? I was really excited about this one. I was like, yay, science. Science isn't working for me today. Why don't you work? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong but clearly I'm doing something wrong and I can't get this to work and I'm a little bit annoyed about it. I'm now going to nicely chop this balloon so that Nick doesn't try and pop it over my head later because that is one of his favorite things to do. Blimey. We're going to try it again. I'm going to equip myself with rubber gloves this time so that things can't become decharged through me. Oh, it's working a little bit more than it was before. Okay, one moment please. <gasps> okay, it's working slightly better. Okay. So, ooh, hello. Well, the balloon is definitely charged because it won't let go of me. Let's get you charged like this. Why don't you like me? I can't do it and it's starting to get on my nerves. That'll do, I'm done with that, I'm bored, I don't like it anymore, it's annoying me. My hair is a mess now, thanks to you. This hack is how to make a jar that's not fully full look like it's fully full, which I can imagine might be useful if you want to play a trick on siblings or something. But also, while we're on the topic of Nutella, as much as I love Nutella, if you love Nutella, please just try this icing, because it's chocolate and hazelnut. It's kind of similar to Nutella, but just on a whole new level. Anyway, we're basically just gonna spin the Nutella around at full speed and then the centrifugal force, or centripetal? Centrifugal? Which one is it? Is centrifugal out and centripetal in? I forget. So this hack relies on a little bit of science. We're gonna spin this super speed and the centrifugal force is gonna push everything outwards and hopefully some of the Nutella will go to the top of the jar and make it look like it's full. Oh, I should maybe show you inside the jar first. Here's inside the jar. So we're gonna lay this down, spin it, bit nervous about the noise, and then hopefully it'll be full. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. I don't like this at all. See if anything's happened. 
absolutely nothing has happened whatsoever. Okay, this is actually turning into a little bit of a workout. Okay, are we ready? So it doesn't look full, but there is a little bit of movement just here. So I'm just, just gonna keep going. Okay, it started going to the top. Just gonna cheat a little bit and help it to the lid. This is a heck of a lot of effort, and I don't know when this would be a useful hack. I'm gonna try it slightly different and use this centrifugal force. It's slightly cheating, but their way was way too slow. If you haven't worked now, I give up. I'd say that looked pretty full, however, how long will it take for that thing to sink down? Because I'm guessing if you span this and put it in the cupboard, oh, look, it's falling. It's already sinking. After all of that effort, if I put this in the cupboard and then waited for someone to open it, just for a little joke, it would have sunk. All of that effort and it's undone within 10 seconds. Prank's ruined. I don't really know any uses for this. Let me know if you do know any, I'm sure there are some. I'm gonna give that one a miss. I'm, I don't think I'll ever be doing that again. We are back with a hack that I tested in last week's video that failed, but I believe was my doing. So the hack that I tested was opening your phone when you have a mask on. And when I tested it, it said, cannot scan because your face is obstructed. However, apparently that doesn't matter. You're just meant to continue, so. We're gonna try this one again. Basic premise, you're gonna take your mask, you're gonna fold it in half, you're gonna put these around your ear, and you're gonna find something to hold this in place. I did have a barbecue stick last week. I no longer own a barbecue stick, so I have a ruler, and I'm hoping I can hold this in place with the ruler. Face ID and passcode. Then you're gonna set up an alternative appearance. Maybe we're moving this around. Okay, first scan complete. We're now gonna switch this to the other side and do it again. I'll be so happy if this works. Okay, second complete. Face ID is now set up. Okay, right. So now I'm gonna put my mask on, pretend I'm out at the shops, and then hopefully, moment of truth, it's not letting me in. Why don't you like me? It doesn't like me. I give up, we're gonna move on. The next little bit of footage you're about to see was filmed when it was snowing in the UK and I took my opportunity. I ran outside with Nick and a camera and said, let me shove my face in the snow because I saw a TikTok where someone shoved their face in the snow and then it looked kind of 3D-esque. It looked pretty good. This is my attempt. You're welcome. Okay, this is the weirdest thing. Maybe it's not that weird but I'm going to dunk my face into the snow <laughs> and hopefully leave a face print that when you film looks kind of 3D. That's the plan. I don't think this is gonna go well and now I'm ready to do it, I'm a little bit nervous. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> it's scary, it's gonna be so cold. Okay, that's not deep enough there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ow! <laughs> it's quite good actually. But does it look 3D? -ish? It almost looks like you're smiling. <laughs> I've just left my eyelashes That's behind. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't look 3D like on the video. Okay, my face is freezing and I think the snow is too, um, like when you push down on it, it compacts a lot. So I don't think it's quite the right texture. I'm gonna try one more time here. <laughs> Oh, snow just came out my nose, I swear it did. It's just not what I wanted. <laughs> That's hilarious though. I'm gonna say that one failed. I have an album on my phone called TikTok and I just store in there all of the TikToks that I want to film videos of. I have over 200 videos, so there's a lot. Just refound one and it's the quickest way to tie your hair and I'm very intrigued. My hair is very, very fussy about what hairstyles it holds. And I'm very intrigued with this one because it's tying your hair without a hairband. So, I don't see this working somehow. Okay, so, grabbing our hair, two fingers through. How was that one? 
fucked. <laughs> Wait. What has happened? What is this sorcery? <laughs> what? How is this? Why are we not all taught this as children? Because I'm telling you, there have been many occasions where this would have been very, very helpful. It does come out if you jig around. And I don't know about you, but I spend most of my life jigging around, so... I mean, it's still kind of together, isn't it? I'm gonna give that hack a big thumbs up. However, it's a thumbs up in certain conditions. You wouldn't get away with it in PE class if the teacher said, put your hair up. However, if you're sat at a desk and you can't see a hairband and you just need your hair out of your way, genius, genius hack, we'll be using it. We're going to attempt making two ingredient Nutella cookies. I'm very intrigued. So for this, all you need is flour and Nutella. 300 grams of Nutella and 150 grams of flour. Mix them together, roll them into little balls, shove them in the oven, Nutella cookies. They've taken a little ball and they've rolled it and it definitely doesn't do this. It looks a lot shinier than this. I'm wondering if I should add just a teeny little bit more Nutella. Roll them into little balls like such and put them on our tray. I don't know how perfectly sized these are gonna be, however. I'm glad I halved the recipe because this is a lot of cookies as is. I think I'm gonna get six out of this. Look at it, it's shiny. Wasn't shiny until I added the extra Nutella though. Okay, we're gonna smush them down with the back of a spoon and put them in the oven for 15 minutes. I can do that. You ready for some smushing action? Smush. I've smushed three of them, but then I've left three of them as little blobs just because this is how you normally do cookies. You normally let them do the smushing themselves. So we'll see who's come out better. Very exciting, in the oven for 15 minutes. They needed squishing. Clearly I was wrong. They don't do what normal cookies do and splodge out. They need squishing, but they smell delectable. So, oh, oh, it just crumbles. Oh, I don't know if they need a bit longer. They're not great. Okay, I'm gonna let you cool. We're gonna take a bite. They're not horrific, but they very much taste like something I would have made when I was five and I was just experimenting in the kitchen. It tastes kind of burnt, even though they're not burnt. It's got like a charcoal-y burnt kind of taste to it. Dry, very dry, not nice crumbly cookie, just dry. However, the lasting taste, quite nice. It does now taste like I've had a little bit of a chocolate cake, maybe, but I'm gonna say no to those. This next hack requires some candy floss. <laughs> I bought quite a lot, mainly because I didn't realize the sizing of candy floss. Didn't realize the differences in size, but we bought some. Why? Because they're all different flavors, and we're gonna be playing with the flavors of candy floss today to make candy floss flavored drink now. I think I'm more excited about the look of the hack than the actual hack. So the hack is that apparently you can add candy floss to water to flavour the drink, which makes complete sense because it's flavoured sugar, basically. However, it just looks like it just disappears into the glass and I'm really excited to play with it. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to fill up my glass with some water and we're going to open some candy floss and make some flavoured drink. I have never before bought candy floss in a pot. I'm pretty sure I've only ever bought it freshly made at like a fair. So here goes. We're gonna, oh, ooh, smells interesting. I just wanna try a bit by itself first. Started off delicious, went not great, ended up delicious. Don't know what the bit in the middle was though. Wasn't ideal. We're ready for this. I'm so excited to watch this disappear. Are we ready? <gasps> I now have purple drink. It just looks so good. Okay, let's do a massive piece. Are we ready? <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> Can you see that? Wait. I love it. Okay. We're gonna give this a stir. It's purple. We've got a purple drink. There is a teeny bit down the bottom that refuses to dissolve. I'm thinking the water is at saturation level. It's delicious. 
It's actually delicious. It's definitely not as strong as juice. The perfect way to describe this is cordial, but just slightly weaker than you'd want it to be, but delicious. The Vimto flavoring is so good. Got the blue raspberry. Interesting smell. I'm gonna come close to the camera so I can get a better shot for you of this. Okay, you ready? Oh my gosh, I love it. How beautiful is this drink? Here we go. Mm. This one tastes a lot more like candy floss, but not something I'd want to drink. I'm gonna add some more. I love this. This is amazing. Get in there. Okay, most of it has dissolved. There is the teeniest bit at the bottom. I'm hoping this will now taste a little stronger better but still very much candy floss flavored and not blue raspberry flavored get in there it just looks so cool uh oh it's dripping mistakes have been made i've made a mess look at the side it looks almost like a little halloween decoration taste test number three Little more strawberry, but also just candy floss flavored. This one has a really pale pink at the top and white at the bottom. And just because we haven't done white yet, I'm gonna go ahead and do some white. Oh, that's very satisfying. Okay. Ooh, candy floss flavored again, better than those two. The final one, blue ra- Okay, we're going blue raspberry again. I wonder if this blue raspberry is better than that blue raspberry though. I'm hoping you're flavoured differently and you can do a better job. If I can open it. Oh boy. Gosh darn it. That's a lot of candy floss. Okay. Ooh, it feels a lot softer than that one. And it's quite a bit more blue. This is like my favourite magic trick. I really like this and it's not magic. But it's my favourite magic trick. Dun 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 dun. Dun. Come on, in you go. I just love it so much. Oh goodness, it's dripping all down the sides. Okay, final taste test. I'm very intrigued. This is a lot bluer than this one, and I'm thinking, hoping, fingers crossed, it tastes better. This one tastes not much different to water. This hack gets a big thumbs up. I really enjoyed it. What I will say is, if you're going to do it, would probably go for the Vimto. This I got from Amazon, or go for this one. <laughs> This one we got from Home Bargains, but either of those, delicious, candy floss flavoured, watered down bimto. I just like the look of putting it in there to be honest. It's just kind of magical. On to the next hack. Okay, this next hack I saw about five times on my For You page in a row. I watched the first one, hearted it and thought that's brilliant, I'm going to test it, and then it just kept popping up. This isn't, okay, it's not a hack, it's more of a cool fun little experiment type thing. But basically, the premise, you put cocoa powder on a spoon, dunk it under milk, and then when you lift it out and poke it, the outer layer of milk just disappears. It looks great. So apparently, cocoa powder is extremely hydrophobic, if you don't know what that means. Hydro refers to water, phobic refers to not liking water, doesn't like, doesn't like water. Although I will say we are using milk here, so it's more milk phobic. I'm actually gonna see if we have normal cocoa powder rather than this one. We have normal cocoa powder. We're gonna use this one instead. We're gonna dunk this under the milk and then prod it. Okay, dunk. Well, mine just came out completely fine anyway. Look, there's no milk on it. Dunk. Oh, here we go. Okay, one. <gasps> it broke by itself. Wait, let me show you up close. Okay, ready? Dunk. I can't prod it, I don't have a third item. Prod. <gasps> Did you see it? You ready? <gasps> I mean, there isn't much more to it. To be honest, that's kind of it but it worked. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. It makes me super duper happy and helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.